Good day, swimmers, and welcome to Beyond Blue. I am pretty excited about this title. Uh, it's developed by a studio called Eline Media, and I think, and it takes much of its inspiration from the hit TV show Blue Planet 2, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that show. Um, all the Planet Earth stuff, big fan of it. A uh, big fan of the ocean. Uh, just to show you this, we have the video, the graphics quality cranked all the way up to Ultra. This game should show us the pretty, the prettier side of the ocean. It's a story-driven game, which is right up my alley. I am pretty excited to play this game. I'm generally not a woo-woo kind of person. If I don't get something, I want to unpack it, get the facts. But the ocean, it's a part of me. You could say it runs in my blood. My grandmother was a free diver, an ama. She helped me feel its rhythm and understand how one breath could last a lifetime. We dove so often, the memories all run together. Except one. When I wished I could stay down forever. Ocean cast its spell on me that day. And its mystery still consumes me. Day one, submerged atoll, Western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. I'm anxious to find our sperm whale family and look in on our mother-to-be. I'm also excited to test out Andre's new tech. Ocean X is expecting a huge audience for our first live stream, given how bad things were in this region a few years ago. No pressure though, ready to dive. It's a nice tattoo she's got. Continuing on. I haven't been diving in years. I used to do it all the time. I'm in and okay. Hey, Mariah, how's the new suit? Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. How are you breathing? Breathing easy. This rebreather is amazing. Feels like I'm free diving. A genuine compliment. <laughs> Should have caught that on the live stream. Uh, give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. Nice. Done. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. So you don't know. Got it. Now point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I want to make sure all the tech is working before we stream. Yeah, I already tried that. Marina, how you feeling? I haven't thrown up today. Well, it's still early. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the buoy, you can triangulate the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. Wow, look at how pretty this is. Oh, I already scanned a ray. I don't know if you've ever seen a manta ray or 
any kind of rate, they get massive. Massive. Like airplanes. I need to, real quick... Turn the mouse sensitivity down a little bit. I'll probably do it a little more than that. That's close enough. You can use your dive watch to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the targeting circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an owl's location. Is that a what? Well? Braves make that sound? Okay, now what? Uh. Mariah, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the Ocean X live stream. I'm Dr. Mirai Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. Okay. We have one, two, only two, so oh, three subjects on the map. Which one do we want to go to first? Let's go to the dolphin. Don't get too jealous, folks, just because I'm swimming with dolphins. My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters, and today also very noisy. Isolating the source of the sounds. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan. <laughs> As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. That's true. Now, bottlenose dolphins. That looks to be a sperm whale. Uh, I think I saw this bull from the sub. I wonder how far he's traveled. Once we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Nice. It's very hard to track whales. So many of them, we have no clue where they go and what they do. Because they just go so deep and far out of reach. Wow. One out of 19 scan? We gotta scan 19 for the bad boys? 
They're massive creatures, but they move so fast through the water. Looks like we've got our first singer. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact, in addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell? More like raising teenagers. Wow, that's, that's your big boy. I just, want to, I just want to look him in the eye. Ah, oh, it's so rad. Oh, there's another one? It's a baby? Hey, Mariah. I'm seeing alerts on the South Buoy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what mysteries this buoy unlocks. Is that this, this marker over here that he's talking about? <laughs> Oh, this game is so neat so far. What does that mean? I wonder what sensor alarm means. Oh, a tagged animal? Uh, what is that sound? Did I break something? Uh, I've deployed acoustic modems to transmit from other sensors. For those of you who have no idea what he's talking about, he means we use sound to transmit data so we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. Impressive. What kind of bandwidth do we get? Hmm, like 1990s dial-up. So let's go to... First one is just forty two. So just because I can scan it doesn't mean I have to. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. Hey guys, can I take a turn? What in the world? Well, you don't see that every day. At least I don't. Frankly, neither do I. Okay. Swimming with dolphins is, you know, probably an amazing experience. A lot of people don't realize that they're super strong animals and they can accidentally Ooh, company. Unbelievable. That sounds too close to be outside the research zone. One of the waypoints went down. Do you think that's related? Yeah, probably. They can hurt you by accident, smack you with their tail and knock you right out. Oh. I gotta scan 27 of these guys? Twenty-seven? Alright, so what am I looking- what is this? Red light must mean a serious alert. Yeah, dead battery. Whoa, Whoa, octopus. I think it went in that cave. I'd like to go in that cave. Can we go in that cave? 
Let's be real. There's no way I'm not squeezing through here to follow that octopus. We'll definitely want to practice diver rescue at some point. Well, maybe. Mirai, please be careful. Are you kidding? This is amazing. Wow. That is... Seriously something I could never do. Where do I go? Down? Oh, there it is. Hey there! Sorry to spoil your hiding place. Octopi are like the smartest creatures on the planet. They have one of the most complex nervous systems that we've ever found. What's this? Oh, it's my ability to crawl, I guess. The most complex nervous systems we've ever found in any any creature. They're crazy. They do amazingly weird things. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the stories of like they, they when they keep them in captivity, the octopus is very common for them to break out of their enclosure at night when nobody's around. And we then leave no trace of their escape so they can do it again the next night. It's very common. They're very smart creatures. I gotta scan 27 of these bad boys, so I just wanna make sure I get all the ones in the area while I'm here. I'm sorry, I need to turn the mouse sensitivity down again. Point six five. remember that, because I swear it turned up by itself. Splendid Elf... I didn't read what that's what it said. Splendid Elf... Alfonsino. Uh, I feel like I'm getting sidetracked here. We need to see what this is. What is it? What is it? Where is it? Who are you, little guy? Soldier fish. Whoa. Can you imagine stumbling across this? <laughs> so this game takes place in the near future, which is probably why this woman is allowed to swim around <laughs> without a massive breather. Uh, breather massive tank on her back in the future we'll all be able to free dive infinitely apparently giant clam oh I want to check that out that is cool look at you all right so how do I get to the sensor I, th I have a feeling it's like in a cave or something let me try to swim back through ah uh, okay the biochemical emittance triggered this whole area because of me not because of me, but because I configured the sensors to detect stress in the coral population. Okay, let's find out what's causing that stress. Mirai, please collect biosamples from any of the distressed corals. Happy to oblige. For those watching, these sensors help us understand what leads to resiliency in corals so we can help breed it into other species. 
Why? Oh, right here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Where's another one? Why is it still pointing me to this one? Oh, maybe this one? said yeah we need one more is this not one I don't see a marker anywhere oh wait I just is it down here I just saw a marker and it like whipped for a second. see it where is our distressed coral over here very nice it had a marker for a second and then it kind of just Done. went away all right sperm whales and they must be your part because I have a tag signal that is definitely ours pushing the waypoint on my way I'm hoping to reconnect with the sperm whale family, whom I have been tracking for years. I'm excited to check in on our mother-to-be. These animals must hate humans so much. They must be so, like, get away from us. You're annoying. Stupid humans. Stop following us everywhere we go. No, that's probably not true. They're just as curious as we are. Mirai clearly has a fondness for these creatures. She's fallen silent. Right. Let me finish scanning them all. I still don't see our pregnant mother. Done. Good. Everything all right? I am now. Look. Our mommy whale has delivered. Everyone say hi to her beautiful one-ton baby girl. Is she okay? Right. Shh. She's nursing. I just wish all of you could be here for one second. <sighs> Amazing. That is the end of our stream. Like, share, comment. Remember, 
We need you. All of us down here. Help your mom be a good neighbor. Learn from grandmother's experience. These are all things I learned from studying sperm whales. My name is Shane Garrow, and I'm the founder of the Dominica Sperm Whale Project. I've been following the lives of sperm whale families in the Caribbean Sea based off the beautiful nature island of Dominica. I've had the sort of greatest honor to spend thousands of hours in the company of the sperm whale families. And over the last 15 years, we've come to know 30 different families. We know about 10 of those personally. My research focuses mostly on the connection between these families' lives and what they say to each other, and how they succeed in the ocean by living in these small families. They live these rich and complex lives in part of the ocean that we find difficult to even explore. Sperm whale society is matrilineal, meaning it's grandmothers and daughters that will live together for life. The young males live in the family until they're about teenagers, and then they go on this sort of open ocean wander for about 15 to 20 years before they are breeding age. But females will stay together for life. They communally raise and defend their babies, and they live in this sort of community of neighboring families just like we do. Behavior is what you do, but culture is how you've learned to do it. In the same way that we're all humans, but some of us eat with chopsticks and some of us eat with a fork. We're all still eating, but how we've learned to eat is importantly different. The secret for how these animals are surviving are these traditional behaviors, and that's why every calf counts. Every female calf is critically important, and each one of those that we lose, we lose so much potential. I think one thing that my research has shown is that our lives are really similar. The values that we have in our families, love your mom, be a good neighbor, learn from your grandmother's experience. And ultimately, life is about the quality of the relationships that you build with those around you, whether you're a whale or not. The secrets that my grandmother learned are helping me to survive now. Ensuring that these grandmothers survive to be grandmothers to share their stories and ensuring that these babies live long enough to learn them is what's going to enable these animals to be around for a long time. Are you kidding? That is amazing. That is so cool that that's in this game. We should probably watch all of those. So what's our objective here? The live stream handbook. All right, this is uh, what we've scanned. Our progress, if you will. Ocean sense. It won't let me like open it or interact with it. That's weird. What's the point of it if I can't?
Hello, Mariah. Thanks for checking in. Hey, Andre. Nice dive. How are you feeling? A bit tired, but I can't wait to get back out. Can you believe we found the family on the first dive? And they have a new baby girl. I know. Well done. Feeling settled in the sun. Has everything tested out? Test? Tess? Mm, I knew I forgot something. This solo subtest makes me nervous. We're definitely fitting it out for two pilots next time. Didn't you help design it? Yes, but now you're driving it. I am much more careful with subs than I am with cars. <laughs> Let's hope so. So, I have something I know you'll want to see. It's what the live stream saw of A12 and her baby. I didn't think you expected her to deliver so soon, though. I thought she had more time, given her weight, but it was hard to know for sure. Hmm. What's the hmm about? Just noting her low weight. Also wondering when you'll find the rest of her pod. Maybe they were diving. I'll find them. Hey, I was thinking we should name the baby whale Andrea. She has your kind eyes. And my bald head. <laughs> no, I'm putting her in the sim as A17. Ugh, oh, you're so sentimental. Hey, where's Arena? Probably in the head throwing up. What's up with you and Arena? What's up with Arena? I mean, what's the... <laughs> what's seriously? No, seriously, what's she working on? She's reading a brief about that deep sea mining impact study. Okay, I definitely don't have time to get into that with you. I gotta call my sister. No problem. Send Ren my best. I will. Call Ren. Hey girl, aren't you supposed to be 20,000 leagues under the sea? I am. I'm calling from the sub. That's crazy. Hey, did you show Nana my live stream tonight? School's great, thanks for asking. You asked me not to ask. Much appreciated. Hey, check this out. No way. Is that a baby whale? Mm-hmm, and her very, very proud mother. She delivered early. That's some view. You're really living the dream. Thanks. Miss you, though. How's Nana? Okay. Not a big deal, but I am taking Nana to get tested for a clinical trial. Some new dementia drug. Well, thank you for stepping up to help Nana. It's not a big deal. You would tell me if it was, right? Yeah. You sound down. Is it just Nana? I don't know. It's been hard since Dad died. I know. You want to stay on for a while? We can watch the baby whale together. No, I should go. Say hi to the whales for me. Alright, I feel as if I need to I know I turned the music way down and not turned down. So I'm just gonna have to speak up. What is that? Oh okay, we already saw this. I'm gonna watch all these eventually. Just not. I want to get into it in the next. Yeah, let's get into the next dive. Day two, back to the atoll at sunset. The hydrophone feeds are alive with the sounds of whales. Gonna find me some singers. 
I'm excited to test Andrea's new Manta drone. Kind of like the Swiss Army knife of stealth drones. I'd love to spend the whole dive hanging out with baby Andrea, but miles to swim before I sleep. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. Looking good, Mirai. The Manta drone is ready for its first zoom scan. Now I get to see why you talk about it so much. Only the best science for you. Booy ahead. Bet we'll find some whale vocalizations. Well, I'm not taking that bet. You always find whales. You'd find them in your bathtub. What kind of bathroom do you think I have? A massive one. So this 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 game is really heavy in the story. That's pretty cool. I kind of mm. like it. This is, that? is a lot of whales. It's staggering the number migrating through this area. Hey, don't jinx it. Andrea? Is that the name of we've named the whale? It's our sperm whale family again. Oh, the baby. Oh wait, what did that say? The Manta drone will match speed with the creature so you can concentrate on steering it around to find the places you need to focus. Orbit camera to find scan target. Okay. All right, baby. We won't forget you now. Andre, can the zoom scan tell how old the baby is? Not with any certainty. Why? Just wondering if she's old enough to hunt by herself. No way. I... To the best of my knowledge, a, a calf is helpless for like I wondered. years. She still seems pretty young to go that deep. Will she be okay alone while her mother dies? She should follow the pod. Her aunties will babysit while the mother hunts. Wish I had them when my daughter was born. Mm, takes a pod. Takes a pod to raise a pod. All right. Mirai, why is the baby girl so important to your study? I'm hoping to follow the baby for years to learn from her as she learns from her family. And hopefully to watch her eventually become a mother herself. I wonder how long they live. Probably way longer than us. What have we here? Oh wow. So cool. Okay, moving on. Do I need to scan these guys? I need 27 of them. Eight. Gotta strike while the iron's hot. Eleven. Oh, come on, don't swim away. Oh, my God. I, honestly, I could not. I would be absolutely terrified. Anything in that massive with that many huge teeth. I don't care if it's a hamster. I'm running away. giant hamster with huge teeth. Terrifying. 
All right, I think we got them all. And a school of fish. Here we are. The whale we're designating humpback M1. Oh, some catchy. How do I, okay. Do I have to record a certain amount of the song, I wonder? I don't know. Like, what's, what are those two circles at the bottom center of the screen? I don't, I'm not 100% sure what that's for. But I mean, the, the icons are gone. It's like not an objective anymore, so I think I... What's this bad boy? He's only 40 something meters away. That sound travels for miles and miles and miles underwater. These creatures are massive. So, did I... successfully perform my zoom scan? I, I guess so. Crazy. Could you imagine getting this close? Even through a scanner? I don't understand why did it still give me the option to scan it if I just scanned it. Oh wait, did I not just regularly scan it first? slightly confused as to how how long I'm supposed to scan it for or my only option is to hit R and go back oh wait is there another point on there 
How will you know it's M1 when you see it again? I'm sorry. So M1 it is. Andre Software is helping me understand the structure of their songs so we can try singing back. More like playing back. I'll synthesize a song that mirrors one from another region to see how these whales react. Because Andre doesn't like my singing. It's more the songs you sing, actually. Uh, well, okay, so... I didn't scan both points, I'm sorry, that was... I wasn't too clear on that. So I do need to... Go back and scan this other guy, it's like dark. Whoa, so crazy. Two out of 18, I thought I scanned like a hundred of those guys. What did that say, mailed butterfish? Butterfly fish. Butterfly. Butterfly. Okay. This is strangely satisfying and like, I mean, obviously it's incredibly peaceful. Sorry, I got to get my swim on. Speed things up. Royal angelfish. I used to have angelfish in my fish tank. Blue green. What's that guy? Clown triggerfish. Wow, look at that. Approaching humpback M2. Looks like he's on a date. How can you tell? It's like they're dancing to his song. Interesting. What do you think, Andre? Do you think he can make it as a solo artist? Uh, not without more original material. What? Males from the same region sing nearly identical songs with just enough variation to stand out. Yeah, just like most pop singers. Such a snob. <laughs> Alright, so... I think that's all we need from that. We don't need to get the other whale? Okay. Is this a buoy we're going to now? <laughs> Tricolor parrotfish. Oh, wait, do they have beaks? I can't see. They're moving too fast. I think these are the guys that have like, I think they have like big beaks and they chew coral, they're really destructive to coral reefs, but it's just part of, you know, the natural cycle. You've been scanned. Let's hope the whale of Palooza continues. 
Wonder if they charge admission. Don't worry, whatever it is, you can take it from my budget. Someone's feeling better today. Chilean Devil Ray. Any more? Can I scan that coral? I just, I, I, I get this feeling like I don't, I don't want to get out of the water. This is so neat. Well, I guess it worked. I've got some nasty noise. The same damn sound we heard yesterday. Well, I'll check it out between the whales. So, this is a bit of a mystery, and I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to leave a bit, this as a cliffhanger, and we're going to see what this is in the next episode, because I'm going to end this one here. This game is really unique and really cool. I, I, I want to explore every aspect of it, and it, it's cool because it, it's awesome to play, and at the same time, it's incredibly educational. I mean, this game is going to blow teachers away. They're going to play this with their kids, uh, you know, remotely and stuff. If, they're, if they don't, they should. I mean, you could teach a whole class on, with this game. This game is awesome. I'm gonna, this is only part one, and I'm going to make as many as it takes probably to finish it. It was really good to see you guys. Please come back and join me for the next one. And as always... Peace.